Hey guys, welcome back to the course. So let's go over seven reasons why you should start a web and or mobile application business. Honestly, there's a lot of reasons why you should start a development business. I've picked the top seven, the seven that have mean the most to me and have meant the most to everybody here at Sprint Kick. So some of the perks of starting a development business uh, are pretty obvious and some of them are not so much. So I'm gonna cover a little bit of the obvious and a little bit of the not so obvious. All right, so let's start with number one. So number one, it's actually very, very rewarding work. Now, what do I mean? Being able to have someone come to you with an idea, hear their idea from scratch, and then to see that go all the way from that napkin on a table to something that you can actually see, play with, and then you start seeing people interact with, that is actually very redeeming. You feel like a creator. People who are entrepreneurs have always had a horrible problem with this. We always think of ideas and how many of your ideas have you actually seen go all the way through the process and get to the point where it's actually out in the market? Not enough. I'd say for me, probably one in a thousand. That's just how I work. But when you run a web or mobile application development studio, uh, you get to see all these ideas come in the door and when they come out the door, they're real, they're live and they're walking. You get to really put your finger on the pulse of what's popular, what's hot, what's not, what flies and what dies. You get to stay up to date with all sorts of breaking things um, in the web and in the mobile development world. You get to see what's working, what's new, what's out the door, what's old news. If you're someone who loves tech, it's just a very, very engaging and fun way to make money. Now, number two, a little bit less obvious. The bulk of money in any web or mobile project is in its development. Now, what do I mean by that? Every web online product or mobile application product has multiple sections to it. Typically, you start with a conception stage, then you move to a design phase, then a development, and then a launch. Now, conception and launch, those are two things that are typically handled in-house by your client. But design and development are the two that are most frequently um, outsourced or contracted out. Now, within those four phases, the bulk of the money goes to design and development. Again, like I said, the other two are handled internally. So every different company handles that in some different way. Some of them skip those processes entirely. Now, within design and development, uh, typically the vast majority of that work that's gonna be in development, not in design. Now design really can, it can run the gamut. If you're, if you're designing something that's really small, um, it could cost you $500. Maybe you're designing something that's big and you need branding with it. In that case, that could cost you a couple thousand dollars. Maybe a big fancy studio might charge you $5,000 plus. But with a development project, it is not very uh, unrealistic to have a project that's well over $5,000. Now, when you design something for $500, the development side of that could easily be a $10,000 project. Let's take for an example. Let's say we're building a mobile application and we need to have it branded and we need to have it completely designed and then developed from concept all the way to deployment. Now, the design and the branding and the logo and the launch icon that could cost $5,000. The development could cost anywhere from $10,000 to $100,000.